Hello and welcome back. As said in the last video, we will start with our main screen, which was created by default and to which we assigned the detail type of screen. Before we start building, you need to have access to the artwork we've created and that we'll be using through this series. Just download the artwork from the following link. First thing we will do is create a header bar, so let's get to it. Click on the screen properties, then on the bar manager. Click on the plus icon in order to create a new bar and give it a name. Click on the option icon of that bar and access it. You will be directed to the addition space. Drag a table element onto the screen. Select the background color property and select a solid black. Change the cell sizes to 40% and 60% respectively. Drag an image element inside the first cell. Notice that the properties to edit have changed depending on which type of element we have our focus on. We'll have one properties to edit if we're working with an image element, different ones with a table and they're on. Click on the select property in order to choose an image. When this is done, the image manager is opened. You can import images inside the manager and reuse them in different places. You can import locally, remotely or from the web search tool. Some of the images of this app will be used remotely from the cloud. But these, the ones we're working with right now, we will have them stored locally. Select from the image folders, the folder header and the image back. Once loaded, click on the verification icon on the lower right corner of the image so it turns green. This means you've selected this image. If you can't, close the image manager and click on the select button again. Now try to select the image again by clicking the selection icon in the lower right corner of the image. Drag a second image element to the second cell of the table and repeat the process of selecting an image. In this case, select the logo image from the header folder. Now select the black image in order to assign an action to it. Make sure you have the focus on the image and not on the table. Assign the back action to it. To the logo image of the header bar we will assign the go to screen action. In this case we will use the logo as a link to the main screen we are building. Now close the bar edition mode. Now we can use the header bar on all the screens we want. Drag the created header bar to the superior bar section as shown. There you go, we have created the first bar and imported it to the main screen. In our next video we will continue with the menu bar. Thank you for watching.